Welcome back to After Hours, everybody. We're doing a little bit of a break. I have nothing, no notes for this. This is just sort of a... None of us have notes. What do we call this, like a relaxed fit kind of thing? Yeah. So, uh, let's talk about life. Let's get real. Let's not get real. Let's talk about something else. Let's get real. I just fucking shit. And... <laughs> I'm depressed. <laughs> life can go jump in a hole. I'm taking, my, I'm taking this fucking ponytail out. God, it's, I put a new hair bow in it's tight as shit. Ow, my Why'd you do that for you, dumb piece of shit? Because I needed it. I couldn't find my fucking old hair bow, so now my hair's down there. Relax, fit my hair's down. You look the same as you did a minute ago. Better. Yeah, that just look kind of crazy. Well, that's kind of the idea here. Oh, you're already crazy, so you know, it's fine. Yeah. So how do you feel things have been going for the channel so far? Let's talk about that for a minute. Well, very well. Very well, considering the stuff we have planned and been doing. Exactly. It's an up and down bumpy ride, but hey, we're still here. Yeah. We're doing shit. Mm. I, you know, honestly, I'm I'm glad your fate videos are doing well. I am very happy they're doing well. Honestly, I keep forgetting to post them because you said it was your thing, so I figured you would do that. You didn't even ask me. You're just like, oh, I'm just gonna make fate videos. I'm like, does he want me to post them everywhere or what? I mean, you're more than willing to. I. It's kind of my job. That's what I do here. I don't edit. No, you don't edit. I just, I'm just here to make you look good. Exactly. Well, only because you asked nicely and you have <laughs> snacks. That's how you bribe me. You can't, how do you bribe a fat man? With snacks. With snacks. Exactly. It's a tub of snacks. Yeah, it's big old, you know, your science experiment. <laughs> science experiments that are very <laughs> running low now at this point. For, for those of you that don't know the science experiment is, Brandon has had these convenience store boxes of skittles that have been in his room for fucking ever that i got because one of my mom's uh work uh, mates their daughter worked at carolyn's and they had to sell all their uh candy because they were shutting down for a year that, i was supposed to say how, why, would, why would a theme park sell all their candy because they were shutting down for a year they didn't want to go bad so i got an entire okay so to be fair when you say go bad i think you probably made it worse i probably <laughs> I it a lot worse. Because we've been eating them. We haven't died yet. No, but they're just sitting in the window for a while. They sat in the window, melted, became an amalgamation. You put them somewhere else. It got hot over there. They melted again, and then they fused together. Now they're sitting on top of your mini fridge. I mean, technically they didn't go bad. Technically they passed expiration, so they can't technically sell them if they go past expiration, even if they're not bad. Those have been in here a long time. Are exactly. We, are those safe to eat? Because we've been eating them pretty They're safe to eat. We've been eating them pretty frequently. They're safe to eat, but an actual store or theme park cannot sell anything that's past expiration. Let's talk about theme parks. You think we should open our own theme park? I think your theme park idea would be half like. Shut up! Shut up! You you let me have this. Well, then go on. I I kind of have an idea of what your theme park idea might be. Super. Yeah, just blackjack and hookers. <laughs> All the freaking rides are just barely hanging on with like duct tape and why would adhesive. I, why would I have rides? It's a theme part. The theme is blackjack and hookers. <laughs> I mean, that's the theme. That's what I'm going with. But you're missing the park aspect of it. It's a park. It's in a parking lot. <laughs> I feel like you're making this a little more complicated than it needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're just dumbing it down. Okay, well, okay, fine, fine. Let's talk about the shit that we... Let's talk about this for a minute. So the other day I called you, and we were talking about... I, I had this idea of starting a cult, right? <laughs> we're going back. <laughs> I told you I wanted to talk about it. <laughs> you're just on this cult shit now for some reason. I have been listening to shit about cults for the past two weeks, and I thought to myself, it'd be so fucking easy to start a cult. I mean... Think yeah. about this, think about this. Just hear me out. Every cult leader has one thing in common. They, they spout some religious bullshit, get a bunch of stupid-ass people to move in some East bumfuck middle nowhere place, give them all of their money to the cult leader. Cult leader's sitting fat and pretty with me while people are starving. That's American. That's the American way. And I feel like, as an American, I could capitalize on that idea. Yeah, fair enough. Now, Grant, there are some very stupid people out there that probably would buy into my cult. There's still people everywhere, but yeah. Exactly. So I think I would have at least, if I had a minimum of like 10 followers, I could be rich by the end of the year. I'm playing the game. I'm not playing stocks. I'm playing the cult game. But I'm not going to be like a murder cult. I'm not going to like feed them electric Kool-Aid or whatever. I mean, you just tell them to drink probably any reason to do it. I mean, there, there are some fucked up cults out there. There are. 
Like the most recent one was like the Love Has One cult. I don't know if you, it's very recent, very very recent. I don't cult. read into cults like you do. I didn't read into it. Just popped up like okay, I listen to podcasts. They tell me like news stories that interest that type of podcast, and that was just one of the subject matters. It gives you podcasts based on your interests. Yes, and I do listen to murder like true crime podcasts while I'm at work. Which now that I say that out loud, probably shouldn't be a good idea. Probably not. You're getting good at murder at work at a place you. Might commit murder. Which would be very easy considering my line of work. You have a lot of heavy equipment around. A lot of heavy equipment. Is there a, a forklift? Lot, a, lot, a lot of things can go wrong on a job site. Is there a forklift around? There's forklifts. Oh. Plural. Bumper car forklifts. Believe it or not, one day at work, I actually did race with uh, one of my workmates on forklifts. Well, why not? The yard know? was empty. We had nothing to do, all right? I mean, why not? And I, it makes it worse, and I probably shouldn't say this. I'm going to say it anyway. I didn't have my forklift certification at the time. <laughs> to be fair, there's a lot of people who drive things without licenses. Yeah, like cars. And they should not drive licenses without cars. I, I know several people. <laughs> wait, that... wait. <laughs> Back to... wait. Scratch that. No. They can't I... drive cars without licenses. There we go. That's I, better. I, I know people that drive, <laughs> drive licenses without cars. <laughs> oh... You are you are something else. You know that. <laughs> I am something else. I'm a special breed. You are something. You don't leave the house. No, that's a basic uh, theory of an do, introvert. Do you have any idea what it's like trying to get you out of the house? Like anytime I invite you somewhere, you always say no. Yes. Like I tell my friends about you. Yes. I tell them about you. So and, and they'll be all like, "Why don't you just invite him?" I said, and I tell them the same thing every time. He likes to be asked. He'll say no anyway, but I'll ask him. And how many times have I texted you, hey, we're going to go do a thing, do you want to come? Instant reply, no. No. <laughs> because social interaction is draining me mentally, and I cannot... Yeah, but I'm there. there. You are there, but... It's... You you hang out with me all the fucking time. It's, it's... I know you don't like people. I know you don't like people. It, it, social interactions are very draining for me, yes. I know they are. I've seen you be around people. It's... You, you turn in to what I consider a level one slime at the end. <laughs> Just give me the fuck out of here! Mm-hmm. Hey, you're just trying to sling it to the nearest storm drain. I feel like I have to sneeze. Hang on. Okay, I'm good. Okay. okay. <laughs> but, but yeah. But yeah, social interactions are... They're draining for me, too. You have no fucking idea. Like, I have to pull on a fucking front sometimes just to be social. Right. And... Shut the fuck ting. up! Ting tong. Ting tong. Motherfucker. That'd be important. Someone just sent me, I got Taco Bell. I, <laughs> I'm i recording, god damn it. They really liked our Taco Bell. Okay, th- let's move on to that. Let's talk about how we record. People have been asking about this. I have to sit here with my phone basically on fucking silent. Because your phone beeps a lot long. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a social creature. Exactly. Like, last time we were recording, I got a text halfway through a Persona video... Like, hey, we're having a party tonight. You want to come? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> why not? No. That's how I rationalize. I'm just like, I have nothing better to do. I could go home. I could play video games, watch anime, whatever the fuck. But then I think to myself, I'm missing out on maybe something cool happening. And that's that's all the motivation I need. Let's talk about my roommates. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, as you know. I do know. As you Shut up. <laughs> as you know. We're trying to get a new place currently, right? You are. And with that being said, there's a lot of things that my I feel like my roommates are used to about me. Believe it or not, despite how I am on videos, at home I'm actually quite I'm actually a very quiet person at home. I, Shocking. I, I know people don't believe me, but I tell you, ask my fucking roommates. My roommate's girlfriend never knows I'm home on the weekends because I'm always gone. I'm gone every weekend. Like, Friday, I hit the door, I shower, I'm out. I only come back to sleep. That's it. That's fair. That's it. And then, I do weird shit throughout the week. Like, if uh, my roommates are like, why are you so pissy during the week? I work nine hours a fucking day in the sun. And you're really pissy if you don't get a nap. I, I, (laughs) You yelled at me over a game just because you get no sleep. (laughs) I got abused. Because you had no sleep. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, hey guy, you can't put me under the bus like that. I'll put you under the bus. <laughs> you can't back the bus over me like that. I will happily drive the bus over anybody. Hey guy, wait a minute. <laughs> this is this how you know we're best friends. Is that I will yell and bitch at Brandon for no fucking reason. 
I would yell and bitch you for no fucking reason. Yeah. And he would just quietly sit there and let me vent. And at the end, he'd be like, did you take a fucking nap today? <laughs> like, no. He'd be like, go take a nap. And then call me back. <laughs> happened a few days ago. <laughs> that was legitimately the guy was like, go take a nap and call me when you wake up. <laughs> And then I did. I was a much more pleasant person to be around. Very more pleasant, yes. <laughs> it's, not that I, it's not that I don't get enough sleep. It's just that when I get home from work, my room is to irk my fucking nerves a little bit. But like saying, how was work? Don't ask for that every fucking day. It sucks. It's the same day as the yesterday. Yeah. It changed. Yeah, it sucks. The only thing that changed, the day. The day. The only thing that's changed. Was it rainy? Was it sunshiny? Was it cloudy? Oh, was it hot? Fuck. Was it warm? No, no. I hate it when they ask for that. Like, when it rains and you know I work outside. Yeah. So when it rains, I'm just in a very pissy mood from the time it starts. Exactly. Because I'm wet. And it was cold that day, too. Like I get, I get home. I want to get warm. Here's my roommate. Hey, buddy. Work go okay? Me coming in, still slightly damp from the fucking rain. <laughs> death in my eyes. And just like, no. No. I'm not. Oh, fucking K. All no. right? I've never been okay. This whole day has been shit. I'm going to go in my room. Take these fucking wet ass boots off. I'm gonna fucking lay across my bed. I'm gonna cry uninterrupted for 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna take a nap. And then I'm gonna go take a shower. And then I might beat my meat <laughs> to make myself get that little bit of dopamine. And then I will be fine. And that all that shit transpires till about 7 o'clock in the evening. I can tell because you call me about 8. Yeah. Just so you know, I, I called you post coitus. I'm pretty sure you would have. Yes. It would not surprise me. This show sucks. <laughs> this show fucking sucks. It's a train wreck of a show. It's the only show we can talk about shit. We can't really do this in videos. I mean, we could. But, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, we could. Sometimes. Sometimes not the place you, for it. You know what I hate whenever... Let's go back to social interactions. You know what I hate the most is, like, when I'm around a group of people like my friends. Like, last night, for example, uh, it was just a small group of us. Just me, my roommates, and, my, and our other friend here. So mm-hmm. it's like four of us. I hate when I'm telling when they ask me to tell a story. Halfway through the story, they just cut me off and I just stop talking. I hate that shit. And then they have the audacity to ask me, "Well, why don't you tell some of these stories?" Because I'll be outside smoking a cigarette, and they'll come outside and you know join me or whatever just yeah. to talk, motherfucker. Sorry. <laughs> and it's a body part. Cannot stop it. Good. Oh well, yeah, true. But they'll come outside and I'll tell them the story I was talking about. Well, why don't you just tell that early? I'm like, I did. Nobody was fucking listening. But I'm always the friend at the party that anybody can come talk to me about. And I hate... I don't hate it. I get people that have problems they want someone to talk to. I don't mind being that guy. But nobody listens to me. And that's why I do this show. Because nobody fucking listens to me. That's one thing I'm good at, listening. I'm a great listener. Because I don't like talking. That you don't have many friends. No. (laughs) No. That's why people are compelled to talk to me for no reason. I still firmly believe your parents question the fuck why you're friends with me. I Probably. They just won't tell you. They're just, they're just like behind the, how? He doesn't do, he doesn't leave. He doesn't talk to anybody. How the fuck does he have this thing as a friend? <laughs> Where did he find this thing? Put on their trim dumpster behind the Denny's. I don't even like Denny's. I'm on the Taco Bell then. Fair enough. <laughs> That's probably what you would find me. I'm on the Taco Bell just shitting my brains out. Just, 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 that, just that girdle scream behind the Taco Bell. What the fuck? And just you... Boar mask shitting in a Taco Bell dumpster. That's how you know it's me. I'm wearing the boar mask. I never take it off. It it's smells like, in here. <laughs> it smells in there. You gotta clean that shit. Clean I don't clean it. No one can see my real face. I mean, jump your, you know, put your whole body in a freaking wash machine. Just it, clean yourself. No. <laughs> just going around. Let's talk know. about. Let's talk about. Let's talk about. Uh, let's talk about our types. Like, what, what? What do we look for in women? Let's do that. I'm sure you got a type. I've been dying to know this for a while. I don't look for anything in anybody because I don't look for nothing. No, I'm talking about like you gotta have like something to get you going, you know, something you're into. Come on, you gotta. You can tell me, I'm your friend. Just because this microphone here doesn't mean a thing. <laughs> <laughs> this thing a- taunts me. Confessions of the Madman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here I got you on secret time. Uh, I have a weakness for fishnets. I'm not kidding. Fishnets do it for me. 100%. 100%. It's mean, hard to, to resist. I mean, that's fair. I yeah. get it. I hate it. I hate it when my female friends will be like, how do I look at fish? I say, don't ask me. Because I'm going to nut immediately. <laughs> 
I'm very upfront with everybody. I like people. Uh, people are off put by my honesty. I think. Well, I mean, you're very brutally honest sometimes. I kind of have to be because like nobody whitewashed shit with me, so why would I do it to somebody else? You know. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, it's like it's like fucking like uh another thing that gets me going is uh. Right. Well, redheads, obviously. But I think everybody likes redheads. I mean, yeah. But everybody bitches about dating. And I've dated two redheads my whole life. They weren't that bad. I was just a dick at the time. <laughs> I've changed, okay? <laughs> There's a lot of shit I used to do that I could never, that I can't stomach doing now. That's fair. Yeah, it's part of growing up. That's part of getting older. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this shit. <laughs> I'm not that old. Stop it. I am half what. I'm. Almost 30. We're both halfway to 30. Aren't you older than me? I'm 25. I'm almost 26. When's your birthday? August 4th. Yeah, you are older than me. Mm. This is my November. <laughs> I'm almost there. I'm, I'm closing in on it. Oh, God. My fucking... Oh, I'm getting off topic again. I'll get to that next. <laughs> I'll get to that next. Um, We have uh, another thing. Uh, Bondage. Which you very well know. I do know this. You know this more than most people do. I think I'm cursed with this knowledge. I listen too much. I don't have to. I don't tell you to stop when I should. And you know it's not gonna help. Like even if you tell me to stop, it's really not gonna do anything. There's a big red button on my phone that says "hang up," but I just don't press it. I, yeah, and I don't know why. I legitimately think I'm like at any point, at any point you could hang this phone up, at any point, but you don't. But I don't. You do not. And <laughs> look at them an active listener. It's like, what the hell like as, lo- as long as there's noise coming out of them, I can't hang up. And, and, and until it gets dead quiet and we stop talking for a long period, it's like, okay, that's, I think it's time to close this book here. Yeah, just close the book for the day. We'll try again tomorrow. Or wait a few days and we'll try again later. Yeah, we, we, we do have a, we have a weird dynamic in this friendship. <laughs> Very rare, yes. <laughs> it's not your average friendship. No, no, it's not. It is rare. Do you honestly think that, like, if people that went to school with us, they would have never thought we we would do something like this together. No, we were we are polar fucking opposites. The opposite ends of the damn spectrum. Exactly. Like I enjoy the darker side of things. Meanwhile, you're a homebody. Yeah, and that, that's how I describe. It. If you want to describe it a different way, go no, ahead. that's probably probably what I describe it. Right, I'm, I'm giving you the floor because I realize I do talk over you a lot. <laughs> no, I'm I'm definitely homebody. I'm definitely a complete and total introvert. I don't like leaving this house unless I have to. Even though I just, I, I do it begrudgingly most of the time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so. It's like, um, once again, like I said, if you had like a bathroom in here. I would never leave this room. No, if you like a bathroom, you already got the mini fridge. Yeah. So, I mean. Yeah. And again, if I, if I just knock out this wall right there. and We can knock out the wall. You want to knock out the wall? I mean, your dad might hate it, but you know, we can knock out the wall. Uh, I'd, I'd rather not. Because... I, I mean, I came in there one day. Your dad's just tearing up the floors. Just well, the floor's done now. I, 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 know, I know it's done. It, it, but now, but now we have the hallway and the bed, bed, bedrooms are there. So. Oh, so he's just trying to redo the whole house. Redoing all the carpet. Get rid of all the carpet. No more carpet. No more carpet. Hard to clean because of the dogs. Yep. And they keep ruining it anyways. Makes sense. Like my carpet's already shot from twenty plus years of sugar and shit. Not actual shit. Uh, hey, hey. Not actual shit. You say you don't. Not like, actual shit. You said you don't. Metaphor. Like, you say you don't like leaving this room. I don't. But there's a bathroom right there, though. True. So. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that. Filthy. I was gonna buy you a chamber pot as a joke gift. <laughs> Real talk. I was really gonna do that. <laughs> it would not have been out of the ordinary. Really? I'd be like. Be like, yeah. oh, use a chamber pot. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> so, what the fuck doing I, like, I like watching the waves on the screen. I like <laughs> it is very therapeutic sometimes. Yes. Like, I, I just like I, I would just keep talking and just I just keep talking and it just keeps bouncing. Yeah. So, I, I love her. We're almost up for twenty minutes more, and I feel it feels like we've been talking longer. It it really does, and I don't think we've completed a, a complete thought yet. We have. We had a few. You just haven't told me what you're into. We were on that. And I told you what I was into. I'm secretly trying to avoid it. You're not going to avoid this. We're tackling this head on. Come on, Brandon, come on. Brandon, tell the people. Tell me what you're into. And who knows? Maybe one of these lovelies out there will reciprocate that feeling. Let's not date fans. Let's not do that. No. That's a curse. It's a curse. And plus, you're going to catch a case. (laughs) 
<laughs> You're gonna catch a kid. <laughs> why me? Why me? Why not you? Why not? Why me? Because I am socially aware of shit. You are not. <laughs> I'm socially aware of ages. Thank you for kind of me. What are you gonna do? Ask her for ID? That's gonna be a turn off. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. It's like, ma'am, you're looking. Your ass and titties are 18, but the height dictates otherwise. Let me see. I'm gonna need some ID. Let me see a birth certificate. When will you burn? Okay. I just I dread that. You know you know what's funny is that uh, whenever you're young and you discover pussy, you just throw yourself into it. It's just an observation I have, like with a few of my friends. I'm just telling you as an observation, all right? This, is, this doesn't correlate to you. I know it doesn't correlate to <laughs> Your you. Your observations are pretty funny, though. All right, you want to hear my thoughts on it? Sure, go all ahead. Right, my observations on when you discover pussy. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Hit my elbow on the table. I heard. <laughs> I was it your funny bone? Uh, it was my funny bone. Was it funny? No. <laughs> it's funny for me. Anyway, anyway you fucking asshole. <laughs> so, like... When you're young, you get your first taste, you just throw yourself into it. It's like, it's like puberty, but on steroids at that point. Okay. Because it gives you that sort of fucking release. You get it in your head like, oh, this is amazing. This is ambrosia, nectar of the gods. I see so many of my friends go down the wrong path with that shit. I, it is dangerous. I, I mean, granted, I, I do have mostly female friends, and I'll tell you, it is the weirdest fucking feeling in the world to, like have two perspectives on it because i i like being told perspectives like if i want to know something about women i'll go ask a woman like, and I, I'm a, I could ask my guy friends gonna be like, oh, what you do is you get down and you start spilling the alphabet on her pussy ask my ask my female friends no we fucking hate that all right now doing that again <laughs> not doing that again why because i heard it from the source <laughs> And granted, they're all, it's not apples to oranges sometimes. It's really not, but you know, like I said, you know, that that's how you know guys. But all those perspectives that, are always better. But that, that's how you know that those particular guys just kind of threw themselves into it. They didn't like, they, they, they drank from that teat too deeply. They drank too deep from that cup. They're like a torpedo, they're like. It's like, I want to fuck everything. Like, granted, I know I made this persona on the internet that I'm fucking a horny detective. You're a very horny detective. It's only because I got jokes for it. But in reality... <laughs> I'm quite boring in reality. I'm not even joking. I'm boring as shit. I mean, I get out and do shit all the time, but, like, my day-to-day is very fucking boring. It's like, it, our conversations are not, are not day-to-day conversations. They're the conversations that take place over a phone or when this mic's in place. Yeah, like, we don't normally, uh, excuse me, we don't normally fucking have a, a normal conversation. No. No. What is normal, anyways? Except for I, find, I find normal extremely fucking boring. Normal is, is a perspective of how you view life. Well, see, my normal and someone else's normal exactly. could be completely fucking different. Exactly. Like, it's, it's like living with roommates is a prime example. Of that. Like, my normal is entirely different from their normal. Exactly. Because everybody's built different. Everybody's different. Oh, shit, I'm built different. <laughs> Everybody built different. I'm built different. I mean, that shit didn't even hurt. You built like a truck. I pretty much am. <laughs> like, like growing up, like our friend Dustin. Yes. Like, I grew up with him. We did a lot of stupid shit growing up. I'm gonna tell you a few things about Dustin, and I know he doesn't watch this, <laughs> so I probably should say this on the internet, <laughs> but I'm gonna fucking say it anyway. I got piss drunk. Uh, I think it was like New Year's 2018, I believe. I don't know. He'll correct me if he sees this. Um, I got super fucking plastered, and I took apart Dustin's toilet. I'm not kidding. You took apart the I toilet? I took apart the toilet. So, like, piece by piece, like, unscrewing piece, it. Piece by piece, unscrewing it. I was curious how it worked, and when I get curious like that, I took it apart piece by piece. Did you put it back together? I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I legitimately fucking tried. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh... Let's see, another time is uh, we used to blow shit up all the time growing up. We were very wild children. As I've been told on several occasions. Oh, dude. Let me talk about my fucking sister when it comes to wild children. My fucking sister is the... She thinks I'm the golden child. She legitimately thinks that. 
I mean, I guess in perspective, probably. The the fuck it is. Do you know the the aud? I I I was at her house the other weekend. I told her I said the audacity you have to fucking say that the about audacity. Mm-hmm. Exactly, and this is why it's the audacity of that because I did. I l- l- let me explain the scenario to you. When I stayed at home during yes. college, yes, you did. Yes, during college, I got bitched at for having my girlfriend spend one night. Now, normally that sounds like a normal conversation, right? Here's my crux to that. Her boyfriend lives with us for six years. Six, Brandon. And I got bitched at for one night. I don't want to hear shit. <laughs> That's fair. And then on top of that, my parents have this fucked up way of raising us. And I say it's fucked up because anybody I tell this to, they immediately think it's fucked up way I was raised. In one way, yes. In another way, no. My parents, since I was the oldest, I had to look up for my sister. So whatever the fuck she did, shut the fuck up, phone. <laughs> Meaning whatever whatever she did fell onto me. All right. So let me tell you a horror story. Here's another secret time for you. <laughs> secret time. Secret time. I used to take the fall for a lot of shit that she did. I would say I did it because I'm a big brother. That's my job. Okay. So what I'm supposed to do is big brother. However, <laughs> however, I'm gonna tell this one story. She got mad at my dad. I can't remember what it was for. This was years ago. Like right. a long time ago. Decades ago. Right. Or over a decade ago. Not decades. <laughs> not decades. I'm not, that, I'm not that old. And she keyed my dad's red Grand Am. I'm about to put you on fucking mute. Let me finish my thought. What? Your phone won't let you finish the thought. Oh, he's here. He is here? I think he's here. Oh, yeah. There's another car out there. Ow! <laughs> fucking chair hit my knee, you cunt! <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, well, I guess Ryan will come in in the middle of the, the middle of the episode. I guess so. You want to go get him? Uh, yeah, I'll go get him here. Tell them I'll finish my story when I come back. He'll finish the story when he comes back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, edit an intermission right here. So you're finishing a story. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I was telling a story about how my sister keyed my dad's red grand M. You are now. I don't know why she fucking did it. But I got blamed. I wasn't even home when it happened either. That's the sad part. I was not fucking home for it. That happens to the best ones, I guess. Or you, in this case. Oh, no. I got the worst ass whooping of my life. I'm talking like... Did your ancestors feel it? My ancestors felt it. I felt like I was back on the plantation singing slave songs, picking cotton. Ryan, you feel free to weigh in on this, buddy. <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy the banter for a little bit. <laughs> I got beat so fucking bad. <laughs> Could you sit for a few days or oh, no? Oh, fuck no. I laid no. there. I laid there defeated. Is that, ah! is that defeated groan? Pretty much. But I, I, didn't hit pu- oh. I didn't hit puberty yet, so it was like a defeated squeal of a pig. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> it's the pig before it goes into a boar. <laughs> exactly. I, I was a little boring then. Um... <laughs> uh, then my sister, oh. she apologized like a week later. She mm-hmm. felt so bad. She drew a shitty picture <laughs> of me and her holding hands saying, I'm sorry. And me, it hit me so hard. I was like, I want to be mad, right. but I can't. You made the effort to apologize. You, you did make an effort. So that's fair. So yeah. I did say my dad felt bad about that too. I'm like, I'm really glad my dad, <laughs> who beat me like a runaway slave... Like I was like I was auditioning for Django Unchained, <laughs> beat me so bad, took me to GameStop and bought me fucking Soul Calibur too. Two weeks after that, I was grounded during that time. Hey, to be honest, though, for that game, I'd say it's all worth it. I love it. It was the PlayStation Two one. <laughs> oh no, see that, that's not okay. It's gotta be Xbox or GameCube. Exactly. So that's yeah. <laughs> that was something. Oh. I wasn't even home for it. I just no. came, I came home and got beat like a runaway slave. <laughs> you walk in the front door like, how's it going? <laughs> no, it was how I had to describe it. It was literally I walked through the door and all mm-hmm. I hear was, "Come here!" <laughs> I was Get like, over here. "Get over here!" Exactly. Yeah, it, it was so fucking bad. <laughs> oh, oh. And then there was a, there was another time where uh, I took the fall for my sister on something. 
Okay. We still talk about this shit this day. So, in school, me and my sister went to the same school for a little bit. Right. We would always do this thing where we would never show our parents our report cards if one of us got a bad grade. Of course. That's fair, yeah. That's just, that's being a good sibling. That's tradition. What are you talking about? Exactly, it's traditional. <laughs> yeah. And here's the, here's what happened. Okay. So, I got I got a C on my report. My dad was strictly A's and B's. Strictly. A C... He might be a little antsy about, but I'll let it go. Okay. I had a C on my report card. My uh-huh. sister had two Fs on her report card. <sighs> we swapped report cards. I saw that. <laughs> we swapped report cards. I told oh, I told her no. I told her to give me hers oh. and let me tell you something. You didn't even offer you, I'm pretty sure. No, you ever seen uh you ever seen Roots? No, you haven't. No. You seen Roots? Never heard of it, man. Oh, except one where OJ was in it as a slave. <laughs> you know the whole thing. Yeah. This whole fucking bit just fell apart. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I know of Roots. I never watched Roots. We watched it in school. I don't even know it. Well, we watched it in school. We went to the same school together. I think All I right. stepped to that movie. That was a show. Oh. So yeah, that's, that's, that's then again, I give you a lot of shit because you don't watch anything. How long is that list now at this point? Longer than my dick. <laughs> that that can be bad. hard to measure out. Fuck you, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now, fuck both of you. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> this is your idea. Dude. I know it was my idea. Not every idea is platinum and dipped in gold. I mean, I think it's a great idea. W- wouldn't it be better if it was gold dipped in platinum? I will. <laughs> I will personally beat the pink out of your hair. It, it, I'm already losing it. Look, the roots coming back. Your See, pink. there's your roots you wanted. <laughs> They're right here. This is gonna be a long recording session. <laughs> Check off the slave jokes. <laughs> oh no, we, we got more to come. There's plenty more to come. There's always more to come. Oh, there's always gonna be more. I feel short because my fucking Ryan is just towering over me here on this stool. If you feel short, then I should be a god right now. Because <laughs> you are remarkably short. <laughs> Anyways, you were continuing with your story? Which one? Your report card. I lost my train of thought very quick. There's a report card. You swapped. Oh, yeah, we swapped report cards. I got the shit beat out of me, too. You know, I got my shit. My dad made me. So- he hung me like this by my fucking legs and just whooped me like this. Oh. It was bad. It's a hangman beating. Literally. <laughs> I was always threatened that uh, if I didn't come home with good grades, my grandmother. Is gonna hang me up by the ceiling fan by my feet. Turn the fan on, and as I'm going around, beat me with a baseball bat. <laughs> Welcome to New York. Do, 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 do you want to talk about that? That's what that's something we should talk about. So that's something I didn't even know. <laughs> luckily, it never happened. But Luck- so, luckily, <laughs> however, the funniest thing I think I ever had from from my family out there are these dick mints. They're, they're peppermints that were in the shape of penises, and they were called peppermint peckers. <laughs> I didn't know what they were. I thought they were cherries, because of the shape of the balls in the bottom of them. So I'm eating by the handful, just gobbling them down. <laughs> My grandfather's so, in the so, corner. So basically, you, you're telling me that you basically literally ate dicks. Yeah, a whole canful. <laughs> whole can full of dicks. A whole can full. Probably a pack of, you know, 40 or so. And I'm just going at them nonstop. My grandpa How was fucking nasty laughing. was your breath that you need to eat 40 fucking dick mints? They just taste good. I like peppermint, man. Apparently, I like peppermint peckers, too, but I thought they were peppermints. I need to take my glasses off for this. So, <laughs> so for my family in New York, like, you know, me growing up being Cherokee and everything, you would think I have a southern family. No, 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 no. Wait until you get to New York, upstate New York. I, I have more rednecks fa- or family up there than I do here. So, when people say, oh yeah, you're from New York. No, I'm not talking about New York City. Oh, Buffalo. No. Brooklyn. Dude, shut up. <laughs> well, where are you from? Okay, take about four or five hours north of Buffalo. Little places nobody knows. I'm almost considered uh, Canada at that point. And it's nothing but... Back roads and four wheelers. Worse than you would think of the South in any manner whatsoever. I don't know. I've seen some pretty dark things in the South. It's being an African American in the South. There are certain yeah. things that you see. <laughs> well, see, see, even my Northern family was more racist, and that's what that's the uh, thing that just absolutely blew my mind. Um, 
So I would get things like being hung up by my feet from the ceiling fan. One of them was... That's kinky. Sure. One of them... So my grandfather was a mechanic, and uh, I don't remember what I did. I don't, I don't remember what it was. Um, He asked me to go out there and help him out with something, and I was just goofing off. I wasn't helping him clean up. I wasn't helping him on the, on the cars, nothing. Just being a little shit. And he kept getting pissed off at me. He told me to leave. I'd come back later and screw something up again. He'd piss, get pissed off and tell me to leave. So I came back next time. And he goes, boy, if you don't fucking leave, I'm going to take this lighter lamp and shove it up your ass. Talking about one of those big industrial I know, heating I, lamps I, I that know the mechanics what a, have. I know what a lighter lamp the, is. The big old cage and everything. Just going to stick it straight up my ass. And I'm like, alrighty, I'm out of here. Mind you, I haven't been up here in a few years. So I was probably like 11, 10 or 11, hearing all this shit. And it was quite funny, but I just never understood like any of it what was going on um all i knew is my job was to sweep the damn thing otherwise if i didn't sweep the broom was going up my ass as well might as well oh uh, just everything ready sure that entire yeah, I, I, truckload I, of stuff I, I, I have a question for brandon we're sitting here sharing childhood trauma you got any of that i have none of I, that. I have personally met both of your parents they don't seem the kind of type though like no i feel like your dad would threaten to ram his motorcycle up your ass at one point He's actually not, no, nah, because he's not had the thing very long. He got the, he didn't get the monster until I was at least into my late teens. I was about to say, it was here when we started hanging out, yeah. like as friends. So it, it, it wasn't there that long. But no, I, I, no, I don't have this kind of trauma. No. I my, mean, I got like, I got, I got some funny, uh, some sh- shit with my family that's pretty funny. So growing up, I didn't know what your family was pretty funny. Yeah, considering the phone calls we have on videos that I, me calling my mom, she's explaining how she was a stripper in her day, back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was something else. No, because you, you were looking at me the whole time. Yeah. Like, he is full of shit. I said, I'm not. I will call my mom right now and she will tell you. And it was the best video. It was, it was the good. best video. <laughs> that shit was pretty good. The, you, I wish we would have did a face cam of that. You were literally dying. <laughs> I was dying. That and shit it, was too funny. And this is going to ask me, then you still want to come over for dinner? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Of course, you're cooking. Of course, I want to fucking kill him. Nothing better than cooked meals. Uh, so my mom's side of the family is right. just completely redneck. Mm-hmm. This went from like ramblings to just trauma, <laughs> very fast. Aren't they generally the same thing? <laughs> it, it always progresses to one to the other. We're not gonna hold hands and sing "Kumbaya" by the end of this video. You do realize that, right? We, we we don't do that here. Damn it! I mean, if we were, then I'd I'd figure somebody would be on a fire at that point. Him? Why me? These are very flammable. I can this t- may be true, I t- but it doesn't mean it's I, right. I tan, you burn. I do very much burn. Okay, then shut but up. That's not my friend. How, how can you tan? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking a genuine question. I don't understand I, that. Okay, remember my hands are really fucking pale from wearing, wearing gloves at work? They're not pale anymore. Okay. Because like when I tan, like this is not even half the color I can normally get. That's for my boots. <laughs> there that's how you know I'm half white <laughs> uh, but, uh, so uh, only two part all three legs it's, it's not a leg it's it's actually very embarrassing women laugh at it, <laughs> it just, if we have to laugh at it I just punch them in the face you know either which way I'm getting satisfied I don't really beat women don't take that out of context you said on the internet now no it's no not now. you two know better they don't no <laughs> They never knows better. No. Listen, I'm, that's why I'm glad our fucking channel culture is that we can say anything without being canceled. Yeah. It's all jokes. I have said some very fucked up shit in our early years of this channel. <laughs> did. Harken back, really to our, did. harken back to the Dark Souls 2 videos. You, mm. That's all I was doing last night when I got off work. I was telling my friend some joke. And he's, and he's like, I don't understand where you have these, where they came from, but I love it. That's Brand- That's literally me and Brandon all throughout the week. Yeah. We will yeah. have. I will start up like, like yesterday when I called you. I was like, "Aren't nine eleven documentaries just kill cams?" And you, you see, that, but, but you gotta be careful. Nine eleven jokes, no matter what time it is, no matter where it is, and who it is, it's always a touchy subject. I can't tell nine nine eleven jokes. They always go down in flames. Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> You're welcome. 
Brad, you're gonna have fun editing this later, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. Definitely. That's okay. My jokes never landed either. <laughs> but yeah, mo- most of them I was telling was a Tyler, and he's like, "Yeah, do you have like any stereotypical like?" It depends. If you want white jokes, I can give you women jokes. I can give you blonde jokes. I can give you black jokes. You name it, I got it. And he's like, "All right, cool. Give me one." I said, "What do you want?" He Credit goes, score, huh? Credit score. Credit score. <laughs> yeah, sure. Because I know those. I'm talking. Oh no, I was just making a joke myself. Oh, okay, fair enough. I, I see where you're going with that, dude. But I, I was making a just a simple random bike joke just because it was the easiest thing. And he's like, he's like, "Well, is it bad or is it funny?" And I'm like, "Well, it depends for you." It, Oh, and I, I continue on, and apparently he thought it was decent. It was just the first one that came to mind. What was the joke? Yeah, so... Because I feel like you're... Nice. So... I feel like we all... I, I'm going to go ahead and just put mine on fucking vibrate, too, while I'm at it. <laughs> you might as well. Yeah. Just a spam call, as usual. Yeah. I don't know why I flung it so far. Oh... Um, <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, wait. Before you get that, I have a story. So, one morning, I got up for work, right? My alarm went off. I slung my fucking phone, and I shouted like, motherfucker, just like that. My roommates, both of them, fucking dead asleep, did not notice a damn thing. At all. That's and you know where my room is adjacent to them at all times. So, how they didn't hear this beyond me, but back to you, what was the joke? Well, let's see, because one is never there, and the other one sleeps all day. Yeah. So that's probably why. And I don't think anything can wake him up, especially when he's drunk, man. Nothing wakes him up. It was during a weekday. That doesn't mean he doesn't drink. Oh, I know. We, <laughs> we both know that. <laughs> Point proven. All right, so it's, it's not one of the worst ones. I just I thought it was personally pretty corny. But uh, So why are black guys so tall? Why, Ryan? Because their knees grow. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> See, exactly. It's not... It's, I've got some much, much worse ones. But that uh, was just here, I, 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 got, I got one for you for that. I just saw this one. Isn't nicotine just an adolescent black person? Okay, already. <laughs> See, my favorite kind of joke are women jokes. I don't know why. It, it's just you just, blonde, you just love pussy. Blonde joke. Sure. You just love pussy. That's all it is. But like, you do know genetically they have smaller feet than us, right? And you know why. So they can stand closer to the kitchen sink. We're canceled. <laughs> red, red flag. We're can- red fl- white flag. We're canceled. For rocks on the plate. Uh. But blonde jokes, I have an abundance of them. Nonstop. A- a- anytime uh, AJ talks to me, I just think to myself, why is this dishwasher talking? I don't know why. <laughs> well, what do you mean? She can't even do that right. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> It hurts when it's personal. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is it, or the greatest thing is, the reason more men wear watches than females, females don't need watches. There's a timer on the stove. Exactly. That's fair. You, wait, you said that same joke How before. I, you said that same joke before. I have? Yes. When? We were recording Dark Souls 3 and I was talking about one of the 3 a.m. recording sessions we used to have. Oh. However, in their defense, you have to admit, they may be in the kitchen all the time, but that's also where the knives are. So we do have to watch out for that. We don't have to defend ourselves here, trust me. I've said some <laughs> questionable things on this. No, no, no. no. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm pointing out. Like, yeah, sure, just to have a little fun. But then again, they, they have the control of the knives at all times. <laughs> Oh, I had this one joke uh, that I told uh, to a group of friends, and I got kicked out for it. It was a Paul Walker joke. I I got two two of my favorite ones. Hit me. Uh, Try to play Xbox with Paul Walker. You know, spends a lot of time on the dashboard. Hey, I'm going to hell. Well, I knew that on my, my. I actually said that at work the other day, and the guy he just looked at me and goes, "No, that's that's too soon." I'm like, "Hey, it, it it's fine by me. I don't care." And he, he was so spe- speaking of it. making jokes too soon, like going back to the 9-11 thing, like, yeah, people make 9-11 jokes is a touchy subject, but fucking forbid you make a racist joke. It's like, yeah, forget about it. 9-11 was literally 20 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> where were you? I know where I was. Dead. No? No. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> no, it was actually my friend Scooter says so we were playing the Dreamcast. Boss, say you're old enough. 
So hell, we are. Yeah, I know. Barely. We are. Barely. That's all I remember. I was playing the fucking Dreamcast when it happened. That's all I remember. Ah, love, love a Dreamcast. I, 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 wait, I remember the game. I was playing Zombies Revenge 2. That so, was, it sounds like some knockoff. It's an arcade shooter. Well, it's something like some kind of knockoff game that you would go down to the ghetto and buy from your local Walmart. They hey, would slap the title uh, on. Hey, only the real ones. <laughs> only the real ones had the Def Jam games. <laughs> Only real niggas had that kind of game. <laughs> Take a piece of duct tape right on there and just write number two. And somebody will buy it just because they believe it's real. Listen, oh, wait. That guy was you. <laughs> yeah. That was me. Because, you know, I was a dumbass that went to pawn shops to buy my video games as a kid. Now, if, for, for that matter, like, going to the pawn shop, whatever, I have to say my best experience ever was... was when you bought a flashlight. Sure. <laughs> what, what, sure. No, going with with video games, I have never heard of Twisted Metal until I got one from a pawn shop. Um, I, I started off with two instead of the original, and I don't know why uh, it just looked funny. The cover, okay, fine. I don't even know what the game was about. Of course, Twisted Metal being one of the greatest games of all time, but still, I wish I would have known about it. I just found it by accident. I was trading in some old games, and just so happened to be like, yeah, sure, I'll p- I'll pick up this one because. They had it on sale. They only wanted like a dollar or two for it. Yeah. So I thought it was some junky game and just added my collection. Was I wrong? It turned out fantastic. Yeah, I mean, that's how I buy games sometimes. You, however, frequent eBay all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. G- I do frequently buy a lot. Games yeah. from eBay? Yeah. 90... I mean, that's a sin. 60%. Hey, they all turn out good, though. 60% of these are from eBay. <laughs> oh, all these are movies. I said 60% of everything over here is from eBay. Well, most of the PS3 games, yes. All the PS4 games in the buy store. Shut up. Yeah. Let me have things. No, you can't have things. Why? I said so, that's why. So that's why you're the fucking Gundam head, you fucking machine. See, yeah, I'm the guy who just goes to your, the local GameStop or game store if you have one, you know. Or flea market, for that matter. Sure. Yeah, yeah flea yeah, market's yeah. fun. Uh, no, I, I, don't, I don't buy games from the flea market. I buy swords and pickled pig's feet. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Re- reiteration back to where I said, yeah. Grew up in Cherokee, but redneck family on both sides, no matter where I'm yeah, from. Yeah, but even my family has fucking pig feet, and I will never. Pickled pig's feet is freaking golden. Fuck, I love it. Fuck that. I can't even eat fucking cornbread and pinto beans. That's what grandma makes them. Uh, that, that makes me sad. I mean, sure, pinto beans, I get it, but do you, you not like cornbread? Only if my granny makes it, that's it. Only if she makes it. It's just her. Oh, my heart. I don't even like... Alright, I'll just get you a bucket of fried chicken and some grape soda. That sounds fair. (laughs) (laughs) Doesn't even argue. (laughs) Why would I? I do like grape soda and fried chicken. Who doesn't like this? I mean, yeah, you're you're right. I mean, my sister... My sister hates grapes. Like, it's it's the weirdest thing. Considering I met your sister, it makes sense. It's it's hilarious because, like, she... She seems like she'd be a lesbian. Disgusting. Probably. (laughs) She, 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 she's a bi. She, she, she she's bi. She's had a, a few boyfriends. She talked about dating a girl before, but uh, yeah, no. As far as this, like, we were we were having a conversation she, before. She's you, going to be a lesbian. We had a conversation before you got her about like things that interest us, and Brandon's been avoiding it this entire time. I am avoiding it, and we're getting close into this. You have this behind me. I do have that behind you. If you don't know what I'm pointing <laughs> at, <laughs> you shut your whore mouth. I agree with him. <laughs> this is a fucking terrible idea of my end. <laughs> I don't even know who that is specifically, but I agree. He just mm. rolls over and wakes up to that. I mean, that's pretty pog, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. You didn't know? Look around this fucking room. He's kind, I, of, a, I've, I've been, kind of a fucking weeb. <laughs> have you seen my new apartment? <laughs> I helped you move in, you retard. <laughs> Alrighty then. <sighs> so now that I have the space, yeah, a poster here, poster two, you know, is nice, and you have my wall, which is like, just decimated with anime and it's I'm not sure if I should be proud of it or if I should go cry myself asleep in a corner until you start buying <laughs> hentai posters that's where you need to stop I didn't say I wasn't going to I just haven't had the money to <laughs> these are facts <laughs> Brandon you want to so, weigh in on this I, I probably get one or two j- just to say I have them Why not? I, I would get a Bible black one just to freak Alex out to be honest with you <laughs> oh my god does he, does, like did you ever explain to him what that is we tried it this is back when the, the apartment we told him me and Adrian both were like, hey, do not watch this. It is not for the faint of heart. He was like, is it gory? I'm like, no, you just don't watch it. Don't watch it. 
I watched it for the story. I'm not gonna lie. It's the decent story. I I'm not gonna lie. Too. Yeah, it's it's an okay story. I'm assuming you know what that is. I, I do know what this is, unfortunately. Okay, yes. I watched it for the story. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, we all know what this is. But I did watch for the story. I didn't watch anything after the first one though. I was like three other ones after it. Yeah, no. It's the same thing. Back in, so I found back in middle school, um, for the first time was Boku no Pico. Next topic. <laughs> I'm gonna say if you know what that is. Next topic. All I gotta say is three episodes, and I would bet all my friends to say, you know what? How did you make it through three? There's only three. Why did you? I didn't even... like, you're saying like, why did I watch all three? Yes. Because I was telling people, said, you know what? I'll give you forty bucks if you can sit here. Not cry or not throw up and watch all three episodes. And they're it, like, oh, it can't be that it, bad. They start watching the first one, like, and they're on the call with me, my friend. He's like, dude, 40 bucks, sure, I'll watch it, no big deal. So he gets through part of the first episode. He's like, all right, cool, this is, I, I get it, hentai, whatever. And then he discovers the main character is not a female. And he goes, am I allowed to just take the 40 bucks and not watch the episodes? I said, no, you got to continue. And he goes, all right, not worth it. In fact, I'll give you 40 bucks to make me to let me stop <laughs> and that was Man, that, that sounds, was the end of that that sounds pretty reasonable i'm like sure i made money because you're an idiot <laughs> i just watched the first episode and i was like no i i i don't know what what inspired me if that's the word you want to put i want to put inspired and boku no pico in the same sentence <laughs> I don't know what troubled me. Okay, there you go. That's yeah, a, that's to watch all three episodes. <laughs> and mind you, middle school and anything. You're just blossoming to a young man. You know, you get curious. You sick fuck. <laughs> uh, now I know where the pink hair comes from. <laughs> ah, yes. The pink hair and the assumptions that you're gay. <laughs> it's all coming together. I don't together. make the assumptions. A lot of people make the assumption you're gay. <laughs> Everybody does. Literally, an ongoing joke is apparently I'm, I'm not... Well, I'm so feminine that I'm not even gay. I'm a lesbian. I'm a lesbian with a dick. You're a lumberjack lesbian. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's the joke. Because I'm straight, I like females, but apparently I'm people think I'm a girl. So I'm a lesbian with a dick. You just have an elongated clit. That's all it is. Yeah, I, I, I just took a fucking pair of pliers. And, and just, again, just hung myself on a ceiling fan until it just stretched out. <laughs> but are you know men have four extra inches inside of them? Yeah. So you, what you're saying is, if a pull hard enough, <laughs> there's all, a chance. All I'm saying for four. I'm four, just trying to be average out here. <laughs> all I'm saying, if that's the case, you've got more inside you than you do outside. Fuck you, Ryan. <laughs> I think that's a good place to stop this for right now, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we're getting close to we're an going hour. Close to, very close to an hour. What the fuck did this show turn into? <laughs> I don't know, but I enjoyed every second of it. Of course you did. I always enjoy it. I'm gonna have fun editing this. Now that, now that someone is abusing me for once. It, I will take anybody abusing you any day of the week. Because I abuse you constantly. Exactly. We can't abuse him. He's black. <laughs> I've been through enough. <laughs> you haven't been through enough yet. We had two Obama administrations. That's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we really didn't enjoy it. If you're liking the content, please like, comment, subscribe. Follow us for more content. Do you can follow you? You can follow me on Twitter at GodEaterD. You can follow Brandon on Twitter at... I'm the gaming. You can check out our Twitter channel. I'm getting one, too. We'll eventually get there at some point. Maybe. Some point. And uh, Ryan, you got any final thoughts you want to share before we close it out? I'm glad to be here, but fuck you folks. All right, <laughs> Brandon, you got any final thoughts? Fuck you. Fair enough. Fuck both of you. Roll the music.